Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome to Insurmountable Part 9. And now it's time to attack Mountain Number 2. We went ahead and uh, overachieved by unlocking all the side missions. Completing all the side missions. Instead of just three. And uh, yeah, we gotta get up to this antenna. See how the electromagnetic radiation that it's amplifying affects the amulet. If it does have an effect. And see what, what that's all about. So, let's get started here. I'm a little nervous about this one. So we choose a route. Let's see here. Very eerie surroundings. Shadows and noises following on this route. Very rough terrain. Oh, no. Because, no, we got beat up really bad. Breathing's harder on this route. Very thin air. I think what we have here with our bonuses and stuff like that pretty much counteracts that right there. The negative uh, 0.8 for the oxygens. Negative one sanity per movement. That seems like a lot. I think we're going to go with very thin air. I don't want that. That's like almost... That's like worse than being injured the entire time. Because now it's not just energy. I know it's 30%. But it's not just energy. Now it's also time that it's affecting. So let's do very thin air. If we have to pick one. So we got normal weather. Cold nights. Colder than normal. Increased body temperature loss at night. Only active during the night. Uh, anomaly increased uh, time cost when moving plus 10 time cost on all terrain very thin air all right let's give it a shot and we're gonna pick our character I tell you what the journalist did really good in the last one I was pretty impressed with that so that I think that's what was really helping us right there is every time we reached a point of interest we were getting 12 energy What is this here? Prevent critical events for six hours? Yeah. She pretty much almost counteracts the uh, negative 25. If we had picked the uh, dangerous terrain. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see here. Early sleeper. Energy gain, energy gain, energy gain. Time and health. Spend time to heal wounds, cool down every 24 hours. So, if we get beat up all the time, that would be the way to go. I think I'm going to go with a journalist again. Yeah, I think so. And we just got to hit to keep ourselves going. We just hit points of interest. Let's do it. She's got lots of energy. I'm pretty happy with what we got there. All right, let's give it a shot. Who knows? Oh boy, nervous. Nervous about this one. Mountain two. This is going to make the uh, other mountains look like, you know, puny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we're down in the forest now. I think the last time we were here, like, the last mountain we were on was basically like good enough to hear like the foothills life is strange the cliff face rises impressively above you it all seems surreal so incredible the research station the time loop what have you gotten yourself into cold air flows into your lungs and now to top it all off you have to think your way into an experiment with an antenna at the top of this mountain okay you gaze down at the glowing green stone even if that woman's theory is correct and the stone is charged with radiation, why would that affect the time loop? And are you putting your life in danger? I would say yes, you are. You take a deep breath, then you give yourself a shake. Waiting here, twiddling your thumbs is not an option. Better face your fate. Fine. If you put it, now that you put it that way. Well, let's, uh, I don't know. We're going to get something from it, but what do we need? We really don't need anything right now. All right, let's just head over here. Start making our way up in that general direction. Let's see, we got a cave over here. Let me just do a little zoom out here. There's a cave there as well. All right, well, we'll explore all these. Get up here, find my spot. There we go. Let's go. Might as well get moving, right? Zooming out helps too. What do we do for uh, grassy? Nice 
rolling grassy fields. What 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 do we use to uh get an energy bonus there? Not snowshoes. Like Nikes. Alright, so we're in front of a fissure, completely befuddled. It's empty full of empty cans, torn clothing, other junk. Sharp stench fills your nostrils. Someone has left a pile of garbage here. Search through the garbage for six hours. Goodness gracious. Stay at the edge of the fissure. Why would I do that? I guess we can search through the garbage. We'd probably get something good. There's human excrement mixed in here. You gag as you pull half decayed head of a goat out of the pile. Someone must have decapitated poor creature. You get your teeth finally. You got an old backpack full of equipment. Still intact. And we got some boots. Insulated boots. I guess that's kind of what I want on rolling grassy fields when it's kind of coldish. Er. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. All right, we got ourselves a cave. Icy wind on our face, so let's follow that wind. More stalactites that are probably just looking to drill into my... Yep. Yep, there it is. Boring into my shoulder. <laughs> Yay. Once again at the entrance. Let's see here. Do we want to lie down and sleep? I don't really think so. I don't think it's worth it at all. Let's not do that. Leave the cave. Oh, that was pointless. Take it slow, baby. Reserve energy. Yeah, no. Take it slow. All right, what's next? Can I get up here? Over here. That's where I want to go. Yeah, let's go that way. It's a stroll through the green forest. I have diarrhea. Your stomach rumbles and your guts suddenly start to cramp. I'll only manage to pull your pants down time to empty your bowels. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, no. Stop to rest. Chow on some herbs. If only. You lie down, double double over in the snow. You can't help but think about the pile of garbage and this horrible stench. Maybe you caught something there. Is it even possible at these temperatures? You have no idea, but you know that removing your mountaineer gear is always takes a certain amount of time. Time that causes uh, time that a bout of diarrhea won't necessarily grant you. I, I understand what they're saying. There are times when you don't want your sweatpant drawstrings to not like bind up a knot. Nearby an abandoned camp, there's a torn tent. You could take the time to search the intact tents. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, thoroughly search them. I get some herbs. Oh, we got ourselves another tent. That's probably going to be very helpful, actually. Six, being able to stop and sleep six times during this mission, whenever we want to, it's going to be very nice. Warm thoughts, of course. Yes, we will definitely take that. Okay, we got another cave here. Still completely energized. Make sure that I'm heading sort of the right way. There we go. All right, uh, small, uh, strong smell. Let's follow that smell. Water hole. Uh, let me see. After a few feet, you come across a small water hole. A thin ray of light falls through an opening in the solid rock ceiling and reflects off the water surface, creating an intricate light pattern that mesmerizes you for a moment. Oh, that's so nice. That's going to be cold, but we really don't... I don't think we're going to... It's not going to give us much body temperature at all. So I don't really want to... I guess if I knew what the next day would bring, we might stay here. Because if it's a cold day, then if it's a sunny day, I'd like to get to it as fast as possible. We'll just we'll just keep going. Yeah, let's just keep let's just keep moving on here. All right, let's get up here. See what this has for us. Oh, it's a bunny that's not trying to like scare us to death with his shadows. Your soft squeaking coming from somewhere. You take a look around and discover a mountain of hair cowering inside a rock fissure. Trembles as you approach, but you do, does not try to flee. You suspect it might be injured. Oh, paybacks! Kill the hair, help the hair, which I can't do. Or just continue. Now we're killing it. You don't want to hurt the hair to suffer, but the hair, as though it can sense your plans, attempts to defend this. It normally like bites you and scratches you. It rears up and wraps as you wrap your finger around his neck and squeezes it, snaps spine. Here, crack. Then your hair begins to twitch wildly. 
Oh, we didn't get injured that time. You don't know what else to do. You grab a rock and bash the poor creature's skull in. You don't stop until blood begins to pull around your feet. Twitching has stopped. But we should get food out of that, right? We not get food? <laughs> I want a can of food out of that. Alright, take it slow or stay warm. I think we're going to go ahead and... Uh... We gain seven oxygen from that. That's going to be important later on. Let's do that one for now. We'll grab the uh, warm thoughts too. Next time we get the chance. Okay, where to next? Eh, kind of want to head that way, don't I? Ooh, that's a lot of that's a lot of danger. That's a lot of danger too. They're just this is just fraught with danger. It's barely touching uh, the... If I go like this way, look at that. The energy's not even being touched yet. How far can I go? Really? It finally runs out up there somewhere. Well, let's let, let's start going. Let's, let's start hitting it. I know there's a lot of dangerous paths here, but if there's anything nearby, again, I'll stop it. Cancel out the current route and uh, like this, like this, um, this chest here, chest event. Rough stone, of course, hits me on the torso. Of course it does. Of course it does. Continue on, man. Go on with your bad self. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, looks like rose hips. Discover some wild berries on a bush. Bright in color. Orange almost. You hesitate. They could be poisonous. You know, a little substance would do you a world of good. Why? Why would I do this? Eat as many berries as you can. Uh, let's just try one. Taste exotic and re-energize you. Just about to reach in the bush for more when you stop. Your stomach tells you you've had enough. All right, good enough. It's probably a good thing I didn't just start chowing down on them. If I go this way. I guess we just go this way. Question is, can I make it a shorter path? Nope. They all kind of suck. But we made it. A dead deer. He stumbled over a corpse of a dead deer with no sign of decay. The animal died only recently. The remains of chewed herbs clings to its snout. Last meal. Probably still indigested. You could cut open an animal's stomach and get there. Why? Did take the deer, man. Start cooking up some steaks. All right. Give it a try. Continue. Yeah, we want the herbs. If we can get herbs, that'd be great. We did it. Oh, we got two. Oh, that was really good. There we go. For those moments when we have those uh, diarrhea pangs. Or pangs of diarrhea. Whatever. Let's go. Let's start getting up this mountain. What's this here? Another mystery box? Awesome. Uh-oh. Tried to jump over, or it just says trapped. As you try to, as you jump over... Okay, let me try starting over. As you attempt to jump over a pile of debris, you slip and catch your foot on in a crack between the rocks. Your ankles in agony. Clear away the rubber, and then just yank your foot out of the crack. Yeah, then just clear it away. You uh, laboriously clear the rubber, rubble rock by rock. Rubble, rubble. You don't want to take any risks just in case your ankle is sprained. It takes a while, but eventually a crack is wide enough for you to gingerly pull your foot free. You check. Just a graze. Just a graze. That's all. Graze anatomy. All right, let's keep going. Oh, things are getting colder. Things are starting to get colder. Ooh, music to my ears. Come across the ruined foundation of a former dwelling. Herbs are growing in a recess. Just as you're about to gather them, a protruding stone catches your eye. Looks around like it can be moved. Some kind of switch, perhaps? I got herbs. Let's flip the switch and see what happens. Push the switch, but it jams. You press harder until beads of sweat form on your forearm. Then there's a click and a clack. The secret compartment opens up in the floor. You bend down. There are several fragments of stone bearing unknown characters. They're fascinating, but you have to move on. 
So basically, instead of herbs, we got ourselves a bunch of experience points. Okay. Keep, keep, wait, 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 wait. Where's that at? Do we want to stop there? I don't, I don't think we really want to stop there. Probably not. It's supposed to be stormy tomorrow. All right, let me see if I can. Can I try to get up here? I can. Let's see if we can go that way. That seems about right. Oh, wow. That, look at this little plateau up here. Sort of plateaus off a little. Not a bad little area. Ah, I see a cave over here. That'll be good. Let me go ahead and pause here. See which way we want to go here. So if I go this way, we're going to run into some issues there. But I think we can push through. We're going to get a little boost of energy. Or I could just sleep and play it safe. Or I can go this way. And I'll probably get, you know, that whole thing where I take a little bit of a energy hit. You know what? I think we're just going to stay the night. Yeah, we'll just stay right here. I don't want to go too far, so I'm going to play it safe and stop there. I'm not sure if going to that next hex, hex is going to activate the, uh, you know, your heart's beating and you collapse to your knees and you get this rush of adrenaline and it costs you some, some uh, health. That would be a shame to do that right when I was going to use that tent anyway all right let's go ahead and sleep for a long time it'll be uh stormy when we wake up get a little bit of warmth back here there we go but it is snowy it is nasty out a bit treacherous too uh, abandoned radio relay station can I believe your eyes have fallen into them, blocking your path? Stay and look around, climb over and continue, or take a detour. Uh, let's take a look around. Yeah, let's do that. Open crate amidst some scrap metal. You lie on your belly and reach in, find out a fish out a few provisions. Another flare gun. And we got ourselves a injured leg. So apparently now we have two flare guns. <laughs> Let's see here. Intense movement under the stars. Oh, yes. At night in events. I might take a departure. Nah, let's do this one. Stick with the original plan. Then up here? Yes, let's do that. Can't detour that one. Can't, well, hold on, maybe we can. Maybe we can. Oh, no. Doesn't matter. Okay. We're going to have to go through a danger hex anyway, which we made through. Uh oh, spiders. Branches of a nearby bush are completely covered with spider webs. As you take a closer look, you notice several spiders vanishing into a hole in the ground. You bend over and inspect a hole. It looks like there's something hidden inside there. Yeah, get in there. Get, get in there and get that. They're skitter over your hands, but they don't hurt you. Fingertips brush them to soft, a cloth bag. You pull it out and discover equipment inside. Yeah, because you might get some nice high quality, high quality climbing gloves. That was worth it. And I don't think we need these anymore. If we have the high quality ones. Leave that one behind. They don't wear out, so. Nice knowing you climbing gloves. A shrine. What are we going to take? We're going to take some sanity, probably. Ah, uh, they're not going to give us that this time. Uh, energy, we're a little bit, we have like a little bit of energy loss, but nothing too much. We'll take the energy. Or health loss. Energy. Yeah, we'll take we're taking energy. Oh, you know what I'm saying these days. Senior moment. Uh it's up there somewhere. I think I think I can barely see a little bit of a glow there. Alright, that kind of looks like the right right way to go, so I think we're just gonna go that way. Hopefully it's a good decision. I don't know. First time playing this part of the game. I, I don't have no idea. Wow, this is really sapping our energy. We need a climbing axe. Like, bad. We're gonna have to camp out again. There was a uh, cave down there, but I want to kind of get as high as we can, if at all possible. 
Uh, I don't want to do that. All right, we're gonna. I can't see a cave anywhere around here. Let's just let's push through. If we take a little bit of a hit, that's fine. As long as we get you know fifty percent of our energy back, then we can kind of continue going for maybe the cost of one or two of our health. There's the death zone. Yep. All right, we're, we're gonna take it slow. There we go. Nest. Find some herbs. More herbs. I guess I could probably eat some of this food. Keep going. Let's do that. Yeah, let's just keep going. Who cares? I don't care. Eh, we got a shrine up here. Let's make it up there. See if we can get some more energy, hopefully. If not, we'll take sanity instead. Surprisingly, the warmth is uh, doing just fine with the warmth. Oh, there's a cave right here. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Just found a cave, just found a cave. Can I get over there? Where are you at, Mr. Cave? Is that you? Oh, we can. Let's do that. I'd like to come play with you guys. Maybe in the morning. But for right now. Oh, it's going to be nice tomorrow. Good. Nice weather. Here we go. We timed that pretty good with our energy, right? Inner cave is driving shelter from the wind. And we don't even have anywhere to explore. It's just a plain old vanilla cave. Yeah, let's do that. 62. Yeah, let's do that. All right, beautiful morning. Oh, look at this. What a beautiful time. So we got a shrine here. We got a shrine over here. Let's make our way over. Time to go play. Uh, slope with rubble uh, yeah, sets off a mini landslide. Slush. Stones rolling out from under your feet down the mountain. Try to find a different path. Keep going. Um, try to find another way. You decide to detour. The detour is your best option. Give the rubble a wide berth. Injured mountaineer. Oh, well, we have some medicines. A tent hastily erected against the side of a rock wall catches your attention. As you get closer, you discover a sleeping mountaineer is closer, torn in places. And you can tell by his face that he's in bad shape. You can't say how long he has left to live or whether whether he'll make it. Um, look through his perfect. <laughs> You're almost dead. You don't need this stuff. Try to help him. Continue. We're gonna try to help him. Yeah, you roll him into recover position and speak to him in a soothing voice. Despite your best efforts, he makes no sound. Does not move? You cannot help him. What? I got medicines. Dang it. We tried. Oh well. Let's see here. Warmth? No. Sanity? Yeah. We'll take that. Let's go up here. A glacial cave. You're standing at the entrance of a glacial cave. The light finds its way through the ice. Makes the walls glow deep, invigorating blue. Nice sanity bonus there. Are those always sanity? I think those are always sanity bonuses. Seems like. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, level up. Stop here at the top of this next one here. Let's see what we can get here. Mindfulness, uh, control breathing. That seems like an important thing when we're in the death zone. So let's do that. Yeah, we got a cave over here in front of us as well. We might find an oxygen bottle sooner or later. Shooting stars in the daytime. While staring at the starry sky, you notice there. A shooting star, you make a wish um, for... Wow, our energy is not even taking a hit at all. It's, it's so... It's just barely. Uh, we're going to take sanity. We've done pretty good getting our sanity back up where it needs to be. Pretty proud of myself. Normally, I'm half crazy by the time I get to the summit. You're trudging across the snow-covered plain when your boots catches on something that's lengthwise along the ground. You're stunned to discover a thick black cable. Why is it here? Where does it go? Where does it lead? Blah, blah, blah. Follow the cable. Pull the cable. Yeah, let's follow it. Small canyon. You can see it runs down a sheer canyon slope, ultimately disappearing in the pile of rubble at the bottom. It seems clear that this was an avalanche here. Worth climbing down and taking a look. Yeah, it's worth climbing down and taking a look. You gently probe the ledge with the toe of your butt, the boot. 
The rock seems like it will hold when you shift your weight. However, a large chunk of rock comes loose and crashes to the bottom of the canyon with a loud boom and desperate leap at the last second saves you from hurtling down in the depths along with it. Your hands tremble and your legs are jelly. This is no, this is too risky. You better focus on the task at hand. Oh, well. That was pointless. I don't really want to go there. I kind of want to just summit. I can almost summit. Maybe I should just uh, hang out here. Do I have a oxygen bottle? I do not. I need to kind of make this quick. So we're going to have to move quick on this one. Let's start getting up there. We need to get down. Um, that's pretty quick here. I could go down there and rest, or down there and rest, I think. I'd be okay, but then that uh, seems kind of productive. So what I'll do here is I'll just go up here and just kind of power through it. Get to the top. It should give us an oxygen bump once we get to the top. Along with an energy bump and warmth bump and all that stuff. So, should be alright. I want to pause it just shy of the ice fall. Glacier extends as far as I can see, gripping the sides of the mountain. As you're standing right in the middle of it, you know that ice is constantly moving. It can split at any moment, swallowing you up into a crev crevice. There's only one way to go forwards, but how? Hurry or ex exercise caution. Adrenaline is pumping through your veins. Go carefully or hurry. Um, ooh, that's going to take a huge warmth. Go quickly. Ice grows beneath your boots, creaking and grumbling as if enraged by your presence. You grow more nervous with the, every step. You imagine fire bolts and trumpets, the ground opening like a giant maw and taking you captive in its depths forever. You banish your wild thoughts and move faster and faster ahead of you. The edge of the ice fall just a few more steps, then you fall into the snow. Relieved, you made it. We made it! All right. So I think here, what I might do here is use our tent or continue on. Hmm. That's a good question. You know, if we go through this, we're going to take a little bit of health damage, but we're going to get energy again, and then we can just kind of get to the summit before and get a little bit of our oxygen back. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll just push through, knowing that we're going to collapse to our knees and be dramatic here in a few minutes. We can hear our heartbeat in our head. Wait for it. It's, it's bound to happen. Somehow I'm getting lucky with these uh, these rolls. There it is. Feel weak and exhausted. Doubt whether you can continue. Uh, let's sit down and rest for a minute. Close your eyes and the world turns black, disoriented and freezing. You wake up again. So we got a little bit of energy back there, as you can see. My big thing is I don't want to like, you know, I want to get my oxygen back here. So this should do it. Initials. Your heart races as you haul yourself up to the summit. You did it, finally. You immediately take a look at the structure. Steel mast rises to the sky. Metal wires support the large struts that sprout from either side of it. It's definitely an antenna. You move closer, taking out the amulet. The stone in your hand pulses strongly, evenly. The wires on the mast begin to vibrate, and you hear a humming sound. It's quiet at first, but then starts to grow, starts growing louder and louder. It seems the young woman was correct, at least about the radiation. It's strong up here. But it, is it strong enough to stop the time loop? Deep in thought, you lean against the mess. You notice a few strange notches in one of the metal struts. You scrape away the ice. No, these aren't notches. They're letters. People have carved their initials into the st steel. You gasp in surprise when you see your name right there alongside the others. What does it mean? Why can't you remember reaching the summit before? The whole thing is getting out of control. You have to get back and confront the mysterious stranger. So there we go. We got our... 28, yeah, we got some oxygen back there, so that'll help out a lot. All right, we need to get down that way. All right, let's get the heck off this mountainside. So, let me see here. Was there a cave somewhere nearby here? Can't really tell it with the uh, snow. Let me see. If I click just straight on that, I can get down pretty far and then rest, probably. So let's just do that. Let's just start taking the most direct route since it's hard to see in the snow. Tomorrow's supposed to be cold, but at least it'll be clear. Maybe we can do something here with a stranger or something. Get an oxygen bottle or something. I, I'm not that worried about the oxygen, honestly. We're going to be okay. 
you'll just take a little bit of a health hit. Walk past the massive crevice, you hear faint cries for health and a death. Okay. Down near at the bottom. Try to save him. Continue walking. Yeah, let's try to save him. Slipped, uh... Oh, okay. You carefully, uh, carefully you climb down uh, the crevice. Shortly before reaching the bottom, you slip and land next to this unfortunate mountain, mountaineer. With great effort, you manage to save the mountaineer. His gratitude is beyond words. I bet. I bet. Yeah, it took a lot of, uh, yeah, we got, it took a health hit. And, uh, energy hit there. But it was the right thing to do. So we're not going to get it off as far as we had hoped. So that's okay. Oh, hold on, stop. I want to go this way. Okay, if I go that way, can I go that way? Okay, what's this right here? There's something spinning here. It's a cave. Let's do it. Do it, Doug. Make it so. Yep. Alright, well, we're going to get something here. Warmth or health? Oh, I think we'll take the health, actually. Yeah, for sure. If I stay here, I don't know how much oxygen it's going to use while we're here. Let's follow the smell. And nothing there but bones and tufts of fur. Okay. Yeah, well, we leveled up at least. Lie down and sleep. Let's lie down and sleep for a long time here. We'll still have some oxygen left. And we should have enough to get down 900 meters, I would imagine. We'll be very close. Okay, so. Start heading that way. See if we can find a less perilous route. Alright, I guess, I guess we kind of try to go that way. Where's our... It's over there somewhere. So sanity, we could go there, but we don't need that. That's just for sanity. All right, it's hard to see. It's really hard to see. Let's give it a go. Not a fan of all the uh, hazards along the way, but I don't think we really have a choice. Oh, hold on. Stop. Stay warm or fresh air. Yeah, it's a time cost thing. Let's just stay warm. Neither one of those are really going to be huge factors for us. Down to 6,600. 6,500. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Alright, a wide crack in the ground in front of you brings you to an abrupt halt. You look at the depths. Jagged ice reaches up like at, spear, like at you like spears. Suddenly you hear rumbling behind you. Startled, you turn around. An avalanche of ice and snow is rushing towards you. Cutting you off your way. You're trapped. Um, Well, let's try to jump across the crack. Quickly throw your bag on the other side of the crevice. And you take a few steps, run up, and leap across. As well, as your boots hit the ground on the other side, you slip. The last second, you manage to grab onto the ridge, onto uh, a ridge of ice as a rolling mass of ice and snow tumble down into the abyss. Sounds like a pretty good trade-off. We didn't even get injured that time. I figured we'd have a boo-boo of some kind. All right, good stuff. Now, where are we heading to? I heading the right way? Oh, I'm kind of heading the wrong way, actually. Well, I want to get down. I want to get down as low as I can. That should get us down. All right, you march up a, a hill where the wind uh, has left wavy patterns of snow cover. Endless uniform hypnotized. You take a, one step after another, suddenly slip and land on your behind. You slide down the slope at breakneck speed, even though this looks like it's completely flat. Your arms flailing wildly. Finally, you come to a stop. Your heart pounding against your ribs. That was close. Uh-oh. 
suddenly see a dark figure standing next to you and warns you in a quite friendly voice that a rock fall is about to occur. Listen to the voice and take cover. Yeah, of course. Wait a while, but nothing happens. Dark figure has vanished. Okay, no big deal. Yeah, I want to get down. If I can. I don't know if that's going to be low enough, though. There's a mountain there, too. You know what? Let's go for... Uh, let's go for this right here. I'm willing to take some hits. We've got plenty of health. We can we can sort of re rely on the health to get us off this mountain. Foamy spittle. <laughs> Put one foot in front of another. Suddenly you start to cough. You gasp for air, feeling as if your lungs are about to burst like ripe grapes. You feel like you're going to suffocate. You are overcome with panic. Your windpipe stings as your ribs ache. But the fit of coughing abates. You wipe your mouth. Your hand comes away with white foam and traces of blood. Ooh. Let's keep going. There we go. We're starting to get low. I don't know. Normally it would show like a little icon, right? Yeah, we're 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 you're in a weakened state. You become uh, in inattentive. Stop watching your left your step for a brief moment. You slide down a steep slope. The last strength you manage to pull yourself up. You're injured but full of adrenaline. So he took another hit there, but um, we should be out of the death zone now, right? Yeah, we should be good. 6,000 meters work. 59, 52. So we're good. Let's head over here see what this says for us. There we go. Starting to get some of the oxygen back. I can just see barely a little bit there. Hey, we found an oxygen bottle. <laughs> Let's dig it out. There we go. I don't think we need any more, but we'll take it. We'll find a room for it. So let's make a little spot for it there. Give it a nice happy home there. Wow. That's dangerous. Jeez. Every which way you go. All right. Let's head over here this way. Hopefully this cave is below 6,000. It looks like it will be. All right, we'll just sleep here for the night. Follow the bleeding. I haven't... I've never gone in a cave and had bleeding. You enter a cave, numerous tunnels lead deeper into the mountain. You hear a noise coming from it. One of the tunnels sounds like frantic bleeding of a goat in distress. Yeah, let's check that out. You spend what feels like an eternity wandering aimlessly through the tunnels. Despair rising in your chest with every step. Finally, when you feel like you can't go on, you reach a spacious cave takes a moment for you to realize that you're back at the entrance. Your exhaustion gives way to relief. Huh. Interesting. Keep searching. <laughs> After a while, you hear the bleeding again. This time it sounds even louder and more frantic. The sound is heartbreaking. Unable to... That was weird. <laughs> Unable to ignore it, you rush back into the labyrinth of the cave. You stumble across the tunnels, losing all track of time until finally, around the next bend, you find it. Just as you thought. A goat. Its hind legs are stuck in an air fissure. It's trying to vein free itself. You, goodness gracious, they made the text that small because it's going to be this long of a message. All right, you gingerly approach the animal and attempt to soothe it. It seems to understand what you want and lets you touch it. With one swift tug, you free the goat from the fissure. It rears up for a split second and quickly trots, trots away from you, disappearing into one of the nearby tunnels. As you uh, prepare to head out, you gaze briefly, your gaze be briefly, your gaze briefly drifts back to the fissure in the ground and somehow... Something catches your eye. You realize what the goat is so interested in. There are some de delicious looking herbs growing down the hidden depths of the fissure. You hastily tuck them into your pack. Oh, we got more herbs. Just like, I go on these mountains, I just collect herbs the whole time, it seems like. Alright, so we're once again at the vast entrance here. So we can go ahead and lay down and get ourselves all in, back into, you know, fighting shape here. There we go. It's going to be a nice day. So, yeah. Beautiful day. And the next day is nice, too. All right. I think we're going to make it. So, let's just... Uh, yeah, let's just head for the exit here. Stage left. Back into the death zone. <laughs> Not for long. Not for long. Just for, just for a couple seconds. All right. I'm going to... I'm going to do a little bit of a... 
side mission here and check out this cave. Never know, I might get like upgraded mountain boots or something. So, uh, enter extensive ca network of caves towards the rear. You notice an extinguished campfire line in front of us. A stranger bundled up in a fur blanket. Um, let's wake him. As you approach a mountain, everybody doesn't react. I bend over and gently shake him. The stranger blinks at you and bleary disbelief sits up after a while. He begins to clear away the camp and pack up his belongings. Before he goes, he reaches in a pack and shares the provisions with you. You thank the stranger, but he pays you no heed. All right. We didn't really need that, but... Okay, cool. We're just going to go ahead and leave. What do we got here? All right, let's head up this way. Curious to see what we got here. Oh, a plane crash. You discover a wreck of a plane. Could take time to search it. Yeah, heck yeah. Thoroughly search that thing. Find an item. A green flare gun. Call for the trader again. And we leveled up. Warm thoughts too? Sure. Doesn't matter. <laughs> does not matter at all all right let's get out of here let's go we could continue the loot if we wanted to but let's just get on out of here well i was nervous about this mountain and that was pretty interesting i'm really glad we got those uh enhanced or whatever advanced uh gloves rocks and debris as far as i can see bearish balance carefully on the boulders as not to slip and fall suddenly right in front of you shallow leap uh, Shadow Leaf. Oh, we're getting attacked by the uh, bunny again. Oh, that stinking bunny. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Fool me three times. I should just stop. Exhausted, you crawl into a narrow cave. You're safe here. As you descend, your amulet gr grows hotter and hotter. Its color gradually shifting to yellow. The stone was soaking up the radiation like a sponge soaks up water. Now it has turned a glowing red. You start to worry that the amulet will burst when you hear a shrill siren in the distance. Time will be reset soon. Will the radiation be enough to break you free from the time loop? You'll have your answer soon. All right. Let's see, uh, See what Stranger has to say to us. When you wake up, you immediately look towards a mysterious stranger. Her expression doesn't reveal whether your attempt to reverse the time loop was a success. Excitedly, you tell her about everything you saw, including the initials on, on the antenna. You want to know what it means. Can't you see? You've already been up here at least once, probably multiple times. We've met each other many times, too out there and here in the station but you don't believe me it's only since you've had the amulet that your memories last past that your memory lasts past a single time loop it allows you to regain consciousness and now you remember everything oh okay well, that's interesting doubt gnaws at you wouldn't it be better just to forget the pain and the fear of being trapped here forever why didn't the stranger tell you everything right from the start and what might she be hiding from you I know the situation we're in is no easy one I want to give you time to get accustomed uh, accustomed to it all you know it took me years to understand all of this the importance of the stone in particular remained a mystery to me for a long long time the key is that it's the key to this prison prison you swallow hard does that mean you're you scaled the summit with an antenna for a knot and you're still stuck in a time loop the stone is overheated just as it should be but it didn't break the time loop. Please give me time to think about this. In the meantime, you should probably go train some more. It's not over yet. All right, guys. There we go. So we made it up the top of Mountain 2. Let's take a look here. And uh, we're going to do some side missions here for Mountain 2. And then we will uh, take on Mountain 3. And uh, see, see if we can finally escape this time loop and maybe the island also. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care. I'll see you in the next one.